Hey guys, welcome back. So we just got hit with an all new Marvel's Avengers War Table presentation, which showcases the demo that's gonna be releasing soon. I'm aware that I'm a couple of hours late into this, but I've been getting bombarded with tweets and messages of people asking me to react to this because I'm in this trailer. I had family over today the entire day. It is 10 p.m., 10.56 p.m., and they just left. And now I get to watch this and uh, just get all excited for this brand new beta that's gonna be coming out soon. As most of you know, I am beyond excited for this game and just hope that it kicks ass. So without further ado, sit back, relax, and let's watch 17 plus minutes of gameplay. In times like this, when it all seems hopeless, that's when we've got to stand strong. Dude, this is gonna be so cool. And you just watched Square Enix and Crystal Dynamics Avengers War Table stream. We actually got a lot of gameplay. We got a lot more information than anyone was ever expecting. MODOK was announced as the villain. Aim help you. What? That's a hundred percent MODOK. A lot of people reacting. That they are taking it a step beyond the MCU movies, where it's like, hey, here's uh, MODOK. Here's Aim. Like, that's exciting to me. That we're not just fighting Ultron again. Dude, this is crazy. So each mission is gonna be based on that certain Avenger. There is a lot, a lot to this game. It's your boy. Customization, <laughs> skills. The many customization options, play how you want to with each character. I like the idea of my, you know, Black Widow will handle differently than someone else's Black Widow. You need a robust customization system. And I do think that that is what this game is going for. I'm in. Like, this looks awesome. I want to play this. I want to get into this. The thing that seemed the coolest about this across the board was just the breadth of modes you could get into. I didn't know we were getting so much from this live stream. This is questions? crazy. Co-op and war zone. <laughs> Online co-op, it's going down. What speaks to me is the amount of characters in this, the amount of, like, references and hidden things, costumes. There's too much. To, uh, I can't even process all that stuff. <laughs> It's true, man. They, they really gave I'm us in. a lot I'm on in. the last preview, or I should say on the last war table. So, yeah, let's see what this war table's got. Here we go. It's pretty long, Welcome so I want to say Marvel's Avengers war table. there's probably first a lot off, more. A huge thank you to everyone who joined our first Marvel's Avengers war table last month. And extra thanks as well for telling us what you like and what you want to see in future shows. We are reading your posts and comments, so please keep them coming. Since then, what we've heard from you most, other than where's Hawkeye, is when's the beta? <laughs> we'll start with breaking down everything you need to know about the beta. Then we'll share a glimpse at how our game will expand after launch, starting with our first post-launch hero. And we'll have a few surprises along the way. This is beta. All right, here we go, baby. The beta. Dude, I'm so pumped. Oh my God, look at that gameplay with Hulk. Oh, I'm so excited to like leap over freaking buildings and shit. Dude. Oh, we're getting a full walkthrough. It opens with the entire Golden Gate Bridge demo, dropping players into the middle of the chain of events that led to the 8A disaster. This is 25 minutes of gameplay and a great introduction to how each hero plays and how really? combat and traversal work. So the beta is going to be pretty Golden much what we've seen. Okay. Roller coaster ride of an experience with huge set pieces. Tons of combat and traversal, and a Taskmaster boss battle. Dude. It's also That's a chance to try out many of each of the hero's special combos, heroics, and specific moves. Which makes sense. It's an introduction, there, if you the will. It starts to open up just like the full game does, giving you new single player hero missions and eventually single player or co op war zones to discover. 
As Kamala and Halt Eel traveled to the dense forests of the American Pacific Northwest on the trail of the Olympia Archive, the last known location of Jarvis. This is another example of a hero mission showcasing Hulk's Dude. destructive capabilities. God, he looks so You'll take badass. Get to a remote war zone in the frozen Russian tundra called Missing Links to uncover shield secrets hidden deep underground. We chose these <laughs> missions for the beta because they feature a diverse mix of. So locales, there's more in the beta. From wide open spaces for you to bound through and explore to underground aim oh. complexes bristling with high tech security at sub. Let's just say smashable interiors you can expect heavy resistance whichever beta missions you play including a showdown with abomination what you got there Chris? no way in the beta that you've learned so far it was really important for us to create a oh beta with a variety God. of experiences that show off the epic scale of the game So these missions give you a look into the world of our story and our characters, which sees a young Kamala Khan stepping up against a <laughs> oh, bro, she kicks ass. Earth's mightiest heroes Holy when the crap. world needs them the most. Looking sharp, guys. Combined, the Golden Gate Bridge sequence and these hero story missions make for an already good-sized beta. But because Marvel's Avengers is all about the team, we knew that we needed to give you even more than that. No way. Once you complete the single player story content, you'll have four different heroes to choose from to play in some great war zones and harm rooms that we've handpicked for the beta. Beta heroes. Iron Man. Bro. Kamala Khan. Black Widow. And Hulk. How does the beta have so much? You don't have to pick just one. You can play them all. As you progress through the beta, you are given access to the Helicarrier, Jarvis, <laughs> and the War Table, where you can play four-player co-op in three different types of missions. Harm rooms, war zones, and drop zones. I think I'm probably going to be doing the war zones. Let's start with harm rooms. Our holographic augmented reality machine rooms, or harm rooms for short, are virtual training simulators where heroes can take on waves of increasingly difficult enemies either solo with a team of companion AI or with up to four live players. Oh, cool. You begin in the harm room training mission, which runs you through the paces of learning to control a hero. From there, you unlock three harm challenge rooms to test your teamwork. Bring your best hero build to see if you have what it takes to complete all three. Harm challenge rooms are a great place to hone your combat skills both individually and as a team. While anyone can play the game, you'll need to focus and work together to make it into the most elite spaces. How many can you and your team complete? You can track your progress, and once you finish, you earn a nameplate that carries over to the full retail version Dude, of the Dude, I love the customization. The it's the so cool. You excel. Once you reach this point in the beta and have an operational war table, you can also go online and tackle a series of war zone and drop zone missions. Bro, that is badass. I cannot believe it's the beta has so much. Co -op and war zones I, I... In the first Marvel's Avengers war table. But to recap, war zones are missions you can play with up to four heroes you've unlocked as companion AI with three other players or a mix of both. There are five beta war zones to play and a wide variety of aim enemies to take down, including a range of human and robotic foes. The first thing you notice is how each hero's traversal is true to the hero. Flyers like Iron Man approach Dude. from the air with Hulk <laughs> picking up momentum as he bounds forward. Oh my god. Kamala and Black Widow may be on foot, but they both have unique oh traversal god. abilities to grapple That's and swing. That's gonna be friggin' themselves epic. themselves in the air and even chaining together swings to increase speed and cover greater distances. You'll always have the objective in your upper left heads up display, but that's just telling you half the information. Trigger tactical awareness to see everything that's available oh, to wow. do in a mission. For instance, that right there is what we call a POI, or point of interest. This POI is a bunker. Bunkers usually have small environmental puzzles that unlock a door once they're solved, and there are usually goodies inside like gear, resources, and also collectible comics. Man, that is freaking insane. Missions on the war table can take as short as 10 minutes and as long as two hours. 
What? Drop zones are among the smaller, more focused versions of war zones, oh. and they almost always have a single objective. The beta drop zones are designed to let you and your team drop in for a single hit and run encounter. And in the full game, <laughs> they're great go. for earning gear. Dude, look at that customization. That is insane. With or with your companion AI team, you get in, you get out, and you're done. Nice work. Besides the story, the that's what I'm most excited the for. Types of gameplay and systems that the customization. The, game. the beta includes missions built for different players and power levels. And as you build your heroes, you will find that you can take on increasingly ambitious missions. Progression is one of the main systems in the full game. And the beta delivers a taste for earning experience and leveling up your Avengers. In the beta, wow. you'll have access to one of Bro. three starting skill pages for each hero. The others I... open up when the game launches. As you earn experience, you level up, and each level grants you a skill point. You spend these to unlock skills and shape what each of your Avengers can do. This has got to be one of the most Marvel complex Avengers betas I've ever seen. Heroics and ultimates, and we tease the Hulkbuster. Oh my goodness. The Hulkbuster is Iron Oh, you can play with him. And you can use it in the beta. Oh, right off in the, the freaking beta. Of, well, power. <laughs> Hulkbuster comes equipped with rocket propelled melee attack combos and yeah. overpowering damage. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Sweep enemies off the battlefield. You can access Hulkbuster's rocket propelled punches, rocket propelled gauntlet cannon, including an extra powerful repulsor blast and loop and slam attack. And the ability to sustain <laughs> tons of damage. That's freaking there are awesome. Also, some alternate deployment methods. I will leave that to you to discover in the beta. Is it over? You will also earn gear as you play, and as you level up, you'll have access to better gear with more powerful. Perks. Look at the calling card. And that is just in the beta. That's cool. In the full game, you have three skill pages and extensive gear to dial in your perfect playstyle and build out your Avengers primary specialty and mastery. Wow. Speaking of your roster. During your first Marvel's Avengers War Table, we mentioned that playing with your companion AI was a great alternative if you prefer your superhero game solo. Oh, but there's the a Hulk. very good reason why we like them so much. These are your heroes playing alongside you on your team that you've unlocked and you are leveling. So let's say you start the mission as the Hulk. Wow. The game then adds your Iron Man, your Black Widow, your of course the your squad. Partner. The heroes in your party are using the skills that you've unlocked Dude, and that the is gear so that cool. you equip. But you can then mix and match to create a tailor-made party composition that plays the way that you want to play. This is a great way for a solo player to play as a team in the full game and in the beta. Warbot, damn, that's a big team boss right there. matters in Marvel's Avengers. Building out a team with pure or hybrid melee and ranged builds allows you to do a lot more with what you have. This was a quick overview of the beta. It is a big experience with more than 20 combined co-op and single player missions and four heroes with a small taste of the customizations, outfits and upgrades, and even some secrets you'll have to discover by yourself. Oh my god, that boss fight is going to be epic. I just, I'm really excited and I'm happy that they're bringing rarities into the mix of the world of customization. For whatever reason, when you have rarities, it just makes From it much more step, better and more fun to grind Avengers, for certain things. That grows with you as you play. The I'm super excited that for that. Each Avenger, and as fans ourselves, we've handpicked some of our and your favorite heroes to join the team after launch. Heroes like this. Is it Hawkeye? Like to any surviving Avengers. Should we lose the fight ahead of us? Bro. It Should is <laughs> it's Hawkeye. <laughs> so is there like more heroes that we don't know about? Like they're just holding out on us? The key to saving our future lies in the past. Clint? Well, I guess that explains the shock arrow. I'm a sea of emotions. Dude. Oh my god.
This is this is this is huge. They've got a really good base within this game. And we're thrilled to bring him the, to you. The opportunities are literally endless. Hawkeye, the first thing we did was find the best comics and pull ideas that would fit into our post A Day universe. One of our favorite runs is writer Matt Fraction and artist David Ajaz's My Life as a Weapon. And we've taken some exciting ideas from it. So much so that Hawkeye has his own in depth story mission chain. And it is nice. unique from the main campaign because it can be played in co op or solo, whichever you prefer. Hawkeye is your first look at how the expanding world of Marvel's Avengers continues to grow after launch. That's exactly what I'm the saying. The Reassemble campaign is the story of Kamala reuniting the Avengers against the current aim threat. On top of that, you get six heroes with a game at launch, each with skills to upgrade, gear, and outfits to earn and unlock. But after that, you enter the ever-present Avengers Initiative. Dude. This is where you extend the experience Let's as the Avengers. Go. The I better see freaking Spider-Man in there. I swear to God. Both the ones coming on day one and where new heroes, new missions, new regions are all accessible with your entire team roster, either solo, with AI heroes, or online with other it's players. It's inevitable at this point. Like the base August game at the core is beta month. We are ready and eager to play alongside you throughout August in the lead up to launch on September 4th. As you play, you generate tons of feedback for us to improve the tuning and playability, and we learn more about what else we can do as we grow this game's world to be the superhero fantasy you've dreamed of living. That's why we can't wait for you to get started and play what we've been playing. When you get your hands on the beta yourselves, dive into the story, jump online and play with friends, all starting on August 7th through 9th on PlayStation 4 and PC and Xbox starting August 14th. Nice. The beta is August 4th. Near, but it's only a small part of the finished game. Enjoy a full length campaign. That's next more week. Than 80 war zones, more than 50 enemy types, new configurations of harm rooms and challenges updated regularly, and even more later game mission types that we haven't even revealed yet, such as hives and boss layers. The longer that you play the game, the more it grows and evolves as we add new characters like Hawkeye and new story content and regions, all at no additional cost. This is insane. This is literally insane. Oh, and one more thing. We're also excited to reveal that we're working with Epic Games and the Fortnite team. So when you finish, oh the yeah, Avengers that's beta, actually you will earn the Hulk <laughs> Smasher's pickaxe with bonus Hulkbuster <laughs> style in Fortnite. Yeah, I saw that. Visit Fortnite.com. I saw that. You can use Thank them as a pickaxe. Joining us for another Marvel's Avengers War Table. We'll be back with more news and probably some more surprises before then. Thank you so much. And we'll see you in the beta. All right, guys, listen. This has got to be one of the most complex, more in-depth trailers that I've ever seen for literally a beta. I mean, obviously, there's campaign stuff and all that. But as far as the beta, they, 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 it, they have implemented a lot of gameplay within this beta. And of course, it's because they want us to get adjusted and acclimated i guess you can say to the characters and how each individual character plays either the beta is this big because the game itself is incredibly huge and of course the other reason being they want us to know all the characters in order for when the real game comes out we're kind of more you know familiarized with the entire thing but uh the fact that this beta has so many missions i thought it was going to be only the mission that we saw for the first trailer ever but no it's that and some and then you've got like just other co-op stuff in there. Like, I mean, you can probably play the beta all the way until the game releases. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it just seems like there's a lot to, to just take in. I love the uh the, the entire customization thing with the with the rarities of loots. Like you've got the purples, the greens, the blues. It looks incredible. There is a lot to be excited about this game for, and it looks like this game at the core is it's got a good foundation, which it's only better for the long run. It means you can just keep expanding. And it looks like it's also being made by real Marvel fans, people that know what they're doing, people that are actually into the culture of what is Marvel in itself. Um, taking inspirations from the, the comic books and you can collect the comic books in the game. There's so much to look forward to in this game, especially if you are a Marvel fan. And uh, I mean, at the end of the day, who doesn't like superheroes, you know? And who doesn't like Marvel? Who doesn't like the whole, who doesn't like Spider-Man, Captain America, Iron Man? black widow like i don't know i do so 
yeah there you have it let me know in the comments what you think i hope you enjoyed it i'm sorry i'm a little bit late but uh, i was really busy today but of course this cannot go unnoticed as i am uh very excited for this so i will catch you guys on the next one and please let me know if you will be playing this game especially during the beta thanks for watching